Good morning. Today is March 11th, and we are reading from the New Living Translation, and we're doing Psalms 136, because that's what God says. And it's a long one, so we'll get right to it. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who alone does mighty miracles. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who made the heavens so skillfully. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who placed the earth among the waters. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who made the heavenly lights. His faithful love endures forever. The, the sun, the sun to rule the day, his faithful love endures forever. The moon and stars to rule the night, his faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who killed the firstborn of Egypt, his faithful love endures forever. He, he brought Israel out of Egypt, his faithful love endures forever. He acted with a strong hand and powerful arm, his faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who parted the Red Sea. His faithful love endures forever. He led Israel safely through. His faithful love endures forever. But he hurled Pharaoh from his army into the Red Sea. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who led his people through the wilderness. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who struck down the mighty, who struck down mighty kings. His faithful love endures forever. He killed powerful kings. His faithful love endures forever. Shihon, king of Shihon, Shihon, king of Amorites, Amorites, his faithful love endures forever. And Og, king of Bashan, his faithful love endures forever. God gave the land of these kings an inheritance. His faithful love endures forever. A special possession to his servant Israel. His faithful love endures forever. He remembered us in our weakness. His faithful love endures forever. He saved us from our enemies. His faithful love endures forever. He gave he gives food to every living thing. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven. His faithful love endures forever. Wow. Okay. You know, every morning um, I read my devotional and then, you know, I read like Proverbs because Proverbs today keeps the devil away. And, um, you know, I'm reading the Bible start to finish again. It's my fourth time. So that's kind of like my Bible study that I do and a couple plans on the Bible app. But I always ask God what he wants me to read to you, right? And, you know, he said 136. And I looked at it and I was like, okay, you know, what is this message, right? When's the last time you thank God? When's the last time, like, because... This is his give thanks, give thanks, give thanks to God, right? You know, every morning when I go in my bathroom, because if I do my, like, prayer stuff on the floor, Care Bear and all the animals thinks it's playtime. So I go in my bathroom, I lock the door, and I thank God. I thank him. I sit there and I thank him for everything he's done, like all the stuff that he's done in my life. Like, he has changed me so drastically. Um, and it's... It's like from what I was when I came out of prison to what I am now are two different people, not even the same person. And I know you can see that. And so God changes people. God does all this stuff. But do we thank him? Do we sit there and thank him? Because he wants us to thank him. This is what this whole thing was about is thanking him, telling him his faithful love endures forever. God is faithful. He loves us. It endures forever. It doesn't change. Nothing. It doesn't change. It's like it doesn't matter what you do. He loves you. You got to repent of your sins. You got to repent and seek God. And if the devil's in your ear, man, come on, slap that. Be like, uh-uh, Satan, not today, not any day, not today. Because Satan will get in your ear. He gets in your ear all the time, thinks you're unworthy, thinks you're not adequate enough. Like, he's just like, oh, you did this, so everybody's going to judge you and you can't do, you can't, you can't be with these people. You can't do this, right? Don't listen to those voices. Do not, because those voices are the wrong voices you're supposed to listen to. Trust me, I know. I've been there. And 
but God wants us to give us give him thanks. Give God thanks today. Give him thanks over everything that you have done. Like everything that you think is you, it's not you, it's God. I guarantee it's God. Like all the positives, it's God. It's God changing you, God doing this for you. Like all of a sudden, you know, you need rent paid or something and it's just voila, it's there. You think that was just a coincidence? Nothing's a coincidence, okay? That's God. It's either God or the devil messing with you, you know what I mean? And I mean, God doesn't mess with us, you know? But it's like the devil will mess with you, and that, like, that's when bad stuff happens, okay? That's when the bad stuff happens. But you have God who gives you this light, he gives you love, he gives you all these good things, right? Because his faithful love endures forever. Forever. Forever, we have God, forever. It's such a beautiful thing, right? Such a beautiful thing. Well, I love you. I want you to have a wonderful and blessed day today.